Get a mark tonight. Three sets to one. Six one. Six two. Six seven. Six three. Warm congratulations. Whatever happened to Djokovic in the first two sets, we'll never know. Well, maybe he'll tell us in the press conference. But it's Yannick Sinner's afternoon. He is through to his first Grand Slam final. The first Italian man or woman to make it through to the final in Melbourne. And he was magnificent when he was under the cosh in the third set. He did everything he could, couldn't quite get it done there. But when the questions were asked in the fourth set, he got it sorted. It'll be fascinating if we can find out what happened to Djokovic early on, winning just three games in the first two sets. But he finally came to the court in the third set, and we had a real match to savour. But that's the first time he's defaced his face defeat in the semi-final here in Melbourne. Every time he's won, he's won pretty impressively in the semi-finals, but this one went against him. He didn't really turn up in tennis terms for the first couple of sets. After an hour and a half, he was two sets down. Fabulous for Yannick Sinner. And now he's beaten Djokovic three of the last four times they played. A joy to watch, and here he is with Jim Curry. Yannick Novak has been almost unbeatable on this court for so, so long, and you have just taken him out. It wasn't easy. You had the match point in the third set, but you got him in four sets. How'd you get this win today? <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was a very, very tough match. I, I started off really well. He missed... Uh, for yeah, two sets, um, I felt like he was not feeling that great on court, so I, I just tried to keep pushing, and then in the third set, um, I had match point, and I missed uh, the forehand, but you know, this is tennis, and I, I just tried to um, be ready also for the next set, which, which I started off really well, and obviously the atmosphere was so, so, so great to play here, so it's, um, it's always... I was, I was looking for, uh, yeah, I was looking forward for for this match. Um, it's always nice to to have a this kind of player where you can learn from. Um, uh, I, I lost um, last year in, in the semis in Wimbledon, so I, I think I, I learned a lot from that. And you know, it's it's all part of the process. I'm really happy to share this here with you guys and and also with my team. Novak is not just difficult to beat here, he's difficult to beat anywhere. And you've now beaten him three of the last four times that you've played him. What is it in your game that makes it so difficult for him? I don't know, ask him. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I think we, we play really similar and, and, and you have to... Um, first of all, trying to return as many balls as possible. He is, he is such an incredible server. Um, so I try to, you know, guess sometimes a little bit also and uh, just trying to push, you know, trying to move him around a little bit. I'm not going to tell you the tactics, but um, <laughs> uh, because it's, I have the feeling that, or I hope so, that uh, I might play him um, hopefully a couple, couple of, uh, of different matches also, but it's, it's, 
It's a pleasure to be here, as I said. It's, um, it's a, they call it a happy slam for one reason. No? <laughs> Well, it's funny that you say, ask him, because when you played him for the first time in Monte Carlo in 2021, your coach at the time did ask him. He went to him after the match, and he said, can you tell me a few things that maybe Yannick can work on to improve? And Novak, because he's a great sportsman, he did. He told your coach three or four different things. Do you remember what those things were at the time? Did, did your coach even tell you? Because I've heard the story, but I've not heard you talk about it. Yeah, this story is true, and um, I had the chance already when I was um, younger, 17, 16, to, to practice with him in, uh, in Monaco, and I think already there the, the process of trying to learn from the best players in the world started. And then obviously uh, the match is different. He tried to be a little, um, he told me after the match, trying to move the ball a little bit more, you know, being a little bit uh, unpredictable. I, yeah. And um, so, yeah, we are, we are trying to do that. Obviously, um, the surf has, has, has improved a lot. Uh, but still, I, I have the feeling that I can still improve a lot. And, and, and that's why I have a great team behind me. And, and then we will keep pushing. There's no question you've improved a lot. All we have to do is look at the rankings. You're up at number four in the world. All we have to do is look at the results. You're into your first major final. What do you think about that? Yeah, awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what to say, really. Um, I, I came here. Um, I started off in Kuyong with a couple of exhibition matches and trying, trying to come here as prepared as possible. Um, the confidence from, from end of last year has has for sure um, kept the belief that I can that I can play against the best players in the world, and, and I'm really happy that I can play Sunday my, my first final, and, and, and let's see how it goes. But I'm really happy I come here with a smile, and, and I try my best. So there'll be two other players that are playing some amazing tennis, playing a semifinal here in about an hour and 15 minutes. Sasha Zverev, Daniel Medvedev, you know them both. You've played them both. Uh, what do you think about that semifinal? Are you looking forward to it? Will you watch it closely? Yeah, I will watch it for sure because, as I said already, I'm a, I'm a huge tennis fan, so it's, it's, good to, it's good to watch also for me. Um, I'm a bit more relaxed now, but, <laughs> um, but in the other way, they are uh, such incredible players. They, they, they have met already so many times, so it's going to be really interesting. Um, Sasha, he is, he is, he's playing back at, at 100%. He's playing great, and, and, and also Daniel, so hopefully it's going to be a great match. And, um, and then we see what's, what's coming on Sunday. <laughs> we will. You have your team, of course. They're, they're very important to you. I haven't noticed, are your, is your family here or are they back home? They are back home and they will stay home. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to maybe save yourself and say, say something nice to them right now before we uh, leave the court? Yeah, it is. It is 6, uh, 8, 15 in Europe, so... Good morning, guys. <laughs> um, but not only to my family, I think for, for all the people who are close to me and, and also all the Italian fans, it's always really nice to... I, I or we try our best because we have also the men's doubles in uh, a final here uh, with, with uh, Bolelli and Vavasori. So it's, 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 it's good to have some more Italians and... Um, yeah, obviously, I really appreciate the love and, and, and the support, not only from home, but also here in the stadium, which is awesome. And hope to see you guys all Sunday. A big congratulations to Yannick Sinner. What a match. That was awesome. He's a gentle guy with a, a light touch. But you saw some of that looks when the match was developing. He has real steel about him. Congratulations to the Italians and particularly to this guy.